Tonight's film is a dramatization of an actual incident based on interviews and published accounts. Going to a big football game on Friday night, Manny? Me and the rest of West Texas. Is not good. The stock market and heavy trading has the Dow plunging dramatically. West Texas has been plunging for eight years. The rest of the country thinks it's going to catch up in one day. Ain't going to catch us. We'll keep you posted on what looks like a big Are you in the market, Manny? Nah. I dabble a bit in kids' shoes and diapers, though. Housing <laughs> starts in West Texas have slowed to a trickle in recent Run. You have a nice little day, Pumpkin, and you mine, Sissy. Thanks for watching okay. today, Sissy. I'll have as good a time as they will. <laughs> Come on, honey. Bye. house. It belongs to my sister and you'll have to talk to her. But I can tell you now and save you the time. She don't want any. Bye. Jessica, the game's over now. Come out now. Oh, 
Emergency rescue units have been dispatched. We have an 18-month-old child has fallen down a water well at 3309 Tanner Drive. We have an 18-month-old child has fallen down a water well at 3309 Tanner Drive. It's not too far from here. Let's go. can't see her. What's her name? Jessica. Her name's Jessica. Jessica? Jessica? Honey, can you hear me? She sounds farther away than before. How long has she been down there? Five, ten minutes, maybe. It's okay, ma'am. We're gonna help you get her out. Hey, Chief. Hey. Got a little problem here. You think it's possible for an 18-month-old child to fall down an 8-inch well? No. 3309 Tanner Drive. Are you sure that child's down there? And they got a lot of personnel on the scene. Maybe we gotta go check it out. I know exactly where this is. Come on, you can follow me. You see the folks, we got business. Ms. McClure, I'm Carolyn Henry, a volunteer of the Victims Assistance Program. I'm here to help you in any way I can. Don't let my baby die. Everybody's here to help. I'm here to help you. Is there someone you'd like to call? No. Uh, I mean, no, not now. Um, uh, Jamie. Maybe Jamie. She's my sister. This is her house. I, I was just taking care of these kids, and, and the phone rang. I just went in the house for a second. All right, fine. That's OK. Everything's going to be fine. If you'd like to call your sister, Mrs. McClure, we could do that now. Is your husband at work? Yes. Yes, but I, I don't want to bother him at work. I just don't. Um, they're going to get her out soon. These other children, are they? I, I take care of them for people sometimes. Baby. Well, perhaps then we should contact Jamie. their mothers. Hmm? Now, I'd be happy to do that for you. You have to give me the numbers, of course. Jessica! 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 Vibration making a slip lower. Just what are we supposed to do? 
They don't hear her. Jessica! Jessica! That microphone got a long cord? Yeah. Get over here. Give us a microphone, Phil. <laughs> this is my gear, you guys. Yeah, but we need it. We might be able to hear it with that. Man, I, I don't know. You bust this, they can my butt. All right, come on, come on, come on. For this, you can stay right by the hole. Get the scoop. Do it. All right. I'll go get us a speaker. Good deal. Just in case. He's being looked after right now, but if you could arrange to have him picked up as soon as possible, I'd appreciate Sissy, it. I can't believe it. Are you okay? Next door. All right, I I'll have to go now. Thank you. Bye-bye. That one was Oh, my God. It's all my fault. That... That pipe's always been covered. I don't know how she... Oh, God, Sissy, Sissy, I'm sorry. Okay. It's about 19 feet down to the kid, or whatever it is it's blocking. I don't know. I can't see nothing but leaves. Jessica? Jessica? Jessica! 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 Mommy's here! It's gonna be okay! Can you hear me, baby? Jessica! 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 It's gonna be okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Sissy, we need to give him room to work now, honey. Come on. Come on. Jamie. It's okay, baby. Manny, how the hell are we gonna get her out of there? Give us a statement. Man, I don't even know what's going on yet. What do we got? Well, she's stuck down there, all right, Chief. We figure about 19 feet. We don't know what position she's in, or the extent of her injuries, or whether she's head first, or, or what's keeping her from slipping. It's, it's like we're blind. The backhoe here is causing too much vibration. Besides that, he can only get about 10 feet. Where's the mother? Uh, she's over there. Victim assistant volunteers over there with her, trying to keep her out of the way and uh, calm her down. What were you thinking of when you brought that thing in here? I think it's the right thing to do. We need to dig a parallel shaft to the well there. With what? A larger backhoe might cause a cave-in. Chief, we passed a rat hole rig out on Loop 250. Let's go get it, then. Confiscate it if you have to. Right, Chief. We'll get rid of the fence, then. All right. I've been in West Texas a long time. There must be 100,000 wells like these. But this is the first. I've never seen anything like it anywhere. How long have you been in town now, Chief? A year? Yeah. And this is the longest conversation we've ever had. Why aren't they doing anything? I'm sure they are. I'll go talk to them. Carolyn Henry, victim's assistance. Is there anything I can tell the mother? She's terribly distraught. 
Oh, well, uh, uh, I wish I could tell you something positive, ma'am, but I... Mrs. Henry, you have any idea how that little girl got down this hole? Tell her we'll have her baby out in a couple hours. In all due respect, Chief, you know something I don't know? I mean, this ain't a kitten up a tree. They say they'll have her out in a couple of hours. Hours? We got an 18-month-old girl named Jessica McClure trapped down an abandoned eight-inch water well. Uh, we got oxygen down to her, and we can hear her. She's been making sounds, and she seems to be all right. We expect to have her out in a couple hours. Let me ask you a question. That's all I got, guys. Jim, 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 Jim you said a couple of hours. This is Rodney Wunsch, KMID TV Channel 2, reporting live from Southwest Midland. We're... An 18-month-old child has fallen down an abandoned water well in the West Midland area. Reports at this time are incomplete, but in an interview, police spokesman at the site said they expect to have her out in, quote, a couple of hours. And now the weather... I the bet they don't get her out alive. ...on this mild October day are expected to be... Sissy, don't you think we should call your husband now? Wouldn't he want to know? Yes. I mean, no. Not now. He should know what's happened. I don't want to bother him at work. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to. Can we wait? They said only a couple hours. <gasps> Jessica? Jessica, Mommy's here. Jessica? Jessica, it's Mommy. Please talk to Mommy. Please talk to me, baby. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of there. Sissy. 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 Chip has a right to know what's happened here. Now, this is if that rig can do it. All I can think of is to sink a rescue shaft down next to her, then drill across to where we think she is. She's about two feet tall, so that means digging across there to about, to about 22 feet. That means we're gonna have to have a shaft down all 28, 29 feet deep. How deep is the well? Drillers we talked to said they go down 80 to 100 feet deep. The steel casings go down about six to eight feet. She's at 19 to 22 feet if she hasn't slipped further down. Let's go with it. Call it plan A. What plan B? We haven't got one yet. How's the mother holding up? She's calming down. Her sister's here, and we've called her husband's boss trying to locate him. What should I tell her? I'll try to keep you informed, Miss Henry. You tell her whatever you think best. I'd like to tell you more, ma'am. I wish I could, but this ain't exactly the blind leading the blind, but we are a new experience here. And at the bottom of the well, there's, uh, well, there's water. She slips. Does anybody have any good news? Well, like I was saying, Tell her... Tell her we're gonna get her out. Tell her everything's gonna be okay. I wish I knew what makes you so sure about this. I got a major problem here, and I'd like to speak for myself on this. Uh, this is a rescue operation. 
I don't know who's in charge here, but I do know that the fire department does not chase crooks or write tickets. Our job is to save lives. We'll do what we do best. You do what you do best. This is going to take all of us. We got a plan. We'll see to it that you get whatever it takes to implement it. Thank you, Chief. All right, let's get moving. Let's OK. Mr. McClure, your boss said I could find you here. Uh, I, I'm Mr. McClure. Is it my father? He's been pretty sick. Uh, no. No, I didn't. Uh, will you come down here for a minute? Mr. McClure. Your little girl's trapped in a well. We're going to get her out. she been down there? Almost four hours. Why didn't you call me? How did this happen? I'm sorry, Chip. She's always doing things, you know. Coming to get you. Let's get him in the house. Okay, baby. Good girl. Good girl. And we're going to drill a shaft down next to the well. But it drift across. That's uh, kind of like a, a sideways tunnel. We're gonna get her out. We're gonna get her out of there. But how long? How soon can I have my baby back? Well, I, I, oh, I, I guess about a couple of hours. Is there anything I can do to help? No, son. We. Don't think she's hurt bad. I mean, she sounds pretty good, considering. And uh, well, I think we got everything under control. You just stay here, take care of your family. Thank you. 
Caliche. Runs in layers about four feet deep around here, harder than hell. Can you get through it? Yeah, but it's going to wear that bit down in a hurry. I need some carbide tips to get a purchase on that rock if we're ever going to get through it. Then we'll get them. You better cut the power to that line. we have temporarily cut power to about 600 homes, but with all this heavy equipment you got coming in here, if anything hits it, it's going to fry everybody in the yard. Cut it. You want some lights set up for the night? No, we'll have her out by then. Word of Jessica McClure's plight is traveling. While Churches police and emergency partners. personnel are doing all they can. As a prayer can, circle forms to pray for the safety of little Jessica McClure, rescue efforts are intensifying. At this hour, a parallel rescue shaft is being drilled next to the water well she fell into. The drilling, however, is being slowed by thick layers of rock, caliche. Rescuers say it will be just a few more hours before they are able to reach the little girl. Jessica! I don't know how long I can take this, Manny. Hey, God, I just want to do something. We got a crowd control problem. I don't believe this. I've called for more security. We're not going to have her out of there by dark. We're going to be here for a while. You better inform the press. I don't want a lot of rumors floating around. How are they doing? They're fine, until we see the McClure's. Well, then keep the McClure's out of sight. Yes, sir. Mr. McClure, Ms. McClure, the press is going crazy with you all out here. It sure helped if you go back inside. Please? We believe we'll have the little girl out soon. Oh, we need, and I repeat, we need no more assistance or help. Everything's under control, and we're doing the best we can with trained rescue personnel. Please stay clear of the area. We won't have power or gas until they, until they get her out. When? They keep telling us just a few more hours. Go see if I can get us an update. Twenty-nine feet, twenty-five of it solid rock. Let's go. Let's get our best men down in that hole. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Oh, oh, how them clues? They're still in shock. They can't understand why it's taking so long. Well, now we bore down twenty-nine feet. Took us most eight hours. You tell them. We just got to dig over five feet to the well shaft there to get her out. How long could that take? I have no idea. I don't either, ma'am. But if you would tell them, please, that we know she's alive, we're going to get her out just as soon as humanly possible. Yes, sir. He's getting hard and stuff right now. OK. I know you said you don't need no help, but I think I can help. Well, we could use it how. I'm a spelunker. I explore caves. It's not for everybody. You got a vertical cave here. Now, you got the right equipment? You got caving gear? Oh, yeah. Like a headlamp. Headlamps, climbing ropes, rigging apparatus. Where you got yours? Home. Live about 20 minutes from here. Go. Go. Come on, I'll take you. All right. All right. Ready? Let's go. Remember, just hold yourself close. Take up slack. All right. You got him. Slack.
Oh my God, nothing. Temperature in the wells dropped down to 60 degrees. We're looking at possible hypothermia. How long did she stay down? If you can't raise the temperature, I'm afraid we don't have long at all. Who are you? I'm Dr. Fitzpatrick. I just got off shift at Midland Memorial. I'll offer any assistance I can. What'd you get? Very little. So we gotta get some heat down that hole. Or we could lose her. Please don't let my baby die. As 18-month-old Jessica McClure undergoes her 14th hour of entrapment, rescue crews continue to drill. Rescuers above ground say they can still hear her crying. They say that's a good sign. A good sign meaning she's still alive and she doesn't appear to be slipping. A not-so-good sign is the reading on the well thermometer. It's around 60 degrees, too low for a small child. About an inch. Getting only a half inch to an inch an hour. We got us a heater from the telephone company. Oh, good. We're gonna get some warm air now. Right. Take room there. You call them? Nope. Just showed up. Just like the diamond drill bits. Diamond. They just dropped them off free of charge, out of the blue. Just like the welders. We said we didn't need any help. Good thing nobody listens to us. 80 degrees. Steady. You gotta try to get some rest, Andy. No, not me, Chief. I can't leave. Uh, I'll stay right here yeah, just till we get her out. Besides that, uh, she needs us. Isn't that right, Manny? I'm getting to know her moods now, sir. How's she doing now? And now she's asleep. Hope. Doctor, listen. Is it gonna get too dry for her down there? No, it shouldn't. There is moisture coming up from the well, and if she's wet her pants, that'll help humidify it. We got the temperature up to 80 degrees. Get something for her to drink, maybe some water? Uh, we don't know the extent of internal injuries. That could do more harm than good. She can go 36, maybe 48 hours before dehydration will be a factor. How much longer? Well, it's going awful slow, you see. we. We've got to go 60 inches across there, and it's an inch an hour. That's almost three days. Who's down there now? Walden. How many times has he been down? Three. I can't keep him up here. Cut off his hair. Get him on up here. He can't be doing any good exhaust as he must be. Walden, you get on up here now. Hello, boy. All right, you heard Coming me. up. Walden. Four. Four in the morning. Don't she have to get home? Not until your little girl's safe and sound. Do you have kids? Yes. Yes, I do. I have a daughter just about your age. You? You're kidding. I mean, y'all look so young and all. <sighs> well, we get married pretty young around here. And I've been blessed. I'm a grandmother, too. That's neat. I married my first love, too. Chip wanted a boy so bad. Until he held Jessica for the first time. Then I don't think he put her down for a year. I kept telling him, put her down or she'll never learn to crawl. He was worried about being a daddy, but he's born to it. And Juicy, we call her Juicy, because she's just so cute. 
No. Let it go, baby. Come on, come on. I want someone to be angry at. I want to shoot somebody or something. But there's nobody to play. That's right. It just happened. There is nobody to play. I wish it wasn't me in that. What makes us think out here in the middle of nowhere? Out here in Midland, Texas, we can pull this thing off. We can do it. I don't know. 28 years in the fire department, I've done nothing even close to this before. We're just groping. That baby's been down there 18 hours. 10 hours, we just got eight inches closer to her. Well, we got hardworking people. But I think we're gonna need some more help. I think you're right. A lot of people in these parts drill oil wells for a living. At least they used to, before it didn't pay to drill them. We need a miracle is what we need. Damn it. We're gonna get her out. Purple White. We have apparently encountered a solid wall of what one rescue worker refers to as prehistoric concrete. Yeah, the... Firemen and volunteers have been doing their best, but we need help. But we're putting out a request for some experienced hard rock drillers to lend a hand. Chief Roberts? Chief, I brought my little boy here. Oh? Uh -huh. Nah, he's a little, but he is strong. Now, we can lower him down the pipe by his feet, and he can pull that little girl up. Come here, son. Oh, my, that's so brave of you. Man. But, boy, we wouldn't want you to get stuck down that hole now, would we? No, sir. Sally Joe, get that nut and his poor little kid out of here. Hi. Give me the station, if you would. Hey, hey, come on. All right, now listen up. All I want is drillers and underground and hard rock. Well, that's him and me. We do it for a living. Excuse me. What's your name? Charles Bowler. This is my, my boy, Ribble. Honey. I'm all through. Can I help? What? What do you want? I say, can I help? I heard you need thin, strong guys to go down in the hole there. No. I said no. We're doing fine. Well, well listen, I, I'm the baby's daddy, and I feel Hi. like I need to... Sure you are, kids. Look, get on out of here. We're real busy here. Crackpot's coming out of the woodwork, ain't they? Yeah. I gotta get through. I can help that little girl. You ain't gonna fit in that hole, trust me. No, I gotta get through and talk to the chief. They're going about it all wrong. I got a line on special equipment. Mister, we got ideas coming in from all over. Why don't you cooperate, stand back there, we'll have you out of here. The city attorney's got a line on some expert help. What's he got? Well, there's this mine health and safety guy we got to hold up. Federal government's what he is, in Carlsbad. Somebody's been making some phone calls. That's four or five hour drive. There's been some other phone calls. Clayton Williams, private jet, is ready to go get the guy. Could be here in less than an hour. You know, this thing might not work out right. If it doesn't, it's all on us. Frankly. We could use some help covering our butts. All I want to do is just talk to the man for a few minutes, that's all. Chief! Chief! Uh, 
My name's Bill Jones. My wife's sister used to work for this company. They got a We're high power. Awful building. busy here, Mr. Jones. I appreciate your concern, but you see those people over there. Every one of them has an idea. Somebody's got a trained monkey. Somebody wants to drop a baby bottle down so she'll climb up after it. Soak a piece of cloth in super glue. There's a guy around here someplace has got no collarbone. But some of my people think he might come in handy. So I tell you what let's do. You continue your way, I'm gonna continue mine. Come on. I'll be back. Damn it. You deal with old Bill Jones. Stubborn old West Texas Scotch. And you are dealing with Sally Joe Francis. Stay behind this barrier, please, sir. Steve? Hey, Robert. How are they doing? Just got off shift. I got here a couple hours ago. Well, some of the guys been down drilling, but uh, now they got some pros. Is that a thing we can do? Just stand by, I guess, till they get her out. Yeah, if they get her out. Are they going to get her out? Robert, cool. Well, who's running this thing anyhow? The cops are us. This is a rescue, isn't it? Everybody and his brother's in on this thing. This isn't a contest. A little girl may die. I don't care if it's the tooth fairy that gets her out of there. Take care of this boy. What are you two doing here? Well, sir, I guess we just want to help. You're going to get to, as soon as we get over to where she is. I want paramedics, first ones there, thin, tough, wiry ones. Now, you guys hang around here. Stay out of the way now. You ready to go when I call you? The band rebel. Good, man. Go and get her. He's Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, willy-nilly silly old bear. Winnie the Pooh. It is 28 hours now that 18-month-old Jessica McClure has been entombed 22 feet below ground in an abandoned water well. 
Numerous rescue deadlines have been passed. It's no longer clear when they are going to reach the little girl. The neighborhood surrounding Tanner Drive has become a campsite for volunteers, the media, onlookers, literally hundreds, all awaiting her safe return. We'll be here until that moment and continue to bring you live updates. Rodney Wench, Big Two News, Midland. I'll get it. Daisy, don't open that door. There she is. Now, I'm here to help you people. When you see in here that crowd out there, don't you? Now, now that is just the tip of the iceberg. Fella out there is screaming he is from the Inquirer. I mean, he's ready to give you thousands for your story. Well, you need me, see, because I can handle a fella like that for you. Now, I, I, I just want to help, because those folks can be brutal. And first off, y'all going to have to make a statement to the press. Why? I mean, we, we want to thank everyone. Because that's the way it goes. You see what I mean? You all don't know nothing about public relations, and that's all right. Because I am here to do that for you. Now, I got a little something here you might want to read. Now, go on. Take a look. Take a look. And here's my card. Jim White, Midland Police. Okay, I'm here to help. Well, I'm sure you are, sir. And I appreciate your concern and your desire to help. But you're going awful fast. Now, these folks here just don't know what's hidden. Well, I understand, and I don't, I don't want to steamroll them either. Well, well, you but, now, you're going to make sure that they get my car. Oh, yes, right? sir. Right. Okay. He is right about one thing, though. Y'all are going to have to make a statement to the press. And that is just the way it is. Well, I'm the head of the family. I guess I'll do it. Chief Roberts, Chief Check. Thomas K, Department of Labor, Mine Safety and Health Division. I'm here to help if I can. We were told there'd be expert help on the way. What makes you an expert? I, I'm the guy they call after a mine disaster. Explosion, cave in, that sort of thing. I've had a lot of experience going down for miners. Dead miners. So we can show you what we got. She's down between 19 and 22 feet. We stabilized the temperature at 80 degrees. We're monitoring very well for methane, gas, carbon monoxide. The rescue shaft is as close as we can get to that whole rig. We decided to cross up to get to the shaft where she's at. Oh, you, you, you can't do that. You, you, you break through, you bring the, the debris crashing down on her. And since you can't tell exactly where she is, you, you, you might drill right into her. We'll have to go straight across below her. What's beneath her? More well shaft, 80 to 100 feet. What's to keep her from slipping further down? Nothing that we know of. Drift off. Not angle up to her, but go straight to come up beneath her. You're the expert. All right, All right let's go out. You are the expert. He's so shot. I don't know if he can do this. He's been in there for 20 minutes. Chip! I've been practicing in front of the mirror. You can do it. I hope you all can hear me. I'll, I'll try to speak loud. I have a statement from the whole family I'd like to make. I would like to thank all the help we've received from Midland, Odessa, and the, and, and the Permian Basin. I can't mention everyone, but all the free food, 
It's just unreal. The donations of equipment and labor have been deeply appreciated for 24 straight hours. Some men have been down in that hole digging for hours at a time, and some have been down five or six times. It, it's been great. I don't know what we would have done without all the help. But, but with the Lord's help and your prayers, well, we know our little girl's going to be all right. Floor. That's all for now. I'll be back with an update in an hour. What you're doing is excellent. Couldn't be any better. As far as we're concerned, you're now in charge of the underground operation. We're here to assist you. Anything you want or need, all you have to do is ask. That's the truth. I never had so much power in my life. First off, everybody in Midland wants to help. Then it seems like everybody in West Texas has come out to help. First thing you know why they're coming in from Dallas, San Antonio. So like I say, anything this man wants. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'll get it. Chief, this guy just flew in from New York. Uh, claims he's got something. I'm an inventor. I flew down here on my own. I heard about this on the news. In New York? Yeah. New York, America. It's north of here. I got this device. It grabs fabric and just won't let go. You can pull an elephant with it yeah. if it was wearing a shirt. Okay. All right, sir. Oh, very good. That's very good, sir. Well, now, we have Two groups of helpers here. We, some people call them kooks. We call them honored volunteers. We got a group right over there, and then there's this group over here where we might need these people. So if you would join them, so we could call you. Thanks a lot. Well, you never know. We might need that thing. Glasscock, can you give us an update on the rescue operation? Uh, we're digging a tunnel right down, well, right below where Jessica's at. It is slow going, but we are getting there. So what is it that is taking so long? Well, like I said, we're drilling through solid rock down Keep there. Keep saying you'll get her. That's just a bunch of bull, isn't it? You guys are full of doing it. Doing the best we can. You guys are full of it. What if you don't get her? We're doing our best. Come on, Andy, what's going on, Listen, Andy? we're busting Come our on. butts out there. We think you don't get her. Around around it with a watch. That's it. Rodney, we're doing everything we can to get that little girl out. Someone's got to help Rodney, Chief. Rodney, you've been out here too long. I want you to get home, get some rest, please. All right? Come on. I know it's hard. You can't do it all yourself. Getting into things, isn't she? Yeah. Getting into this and getting into that.
I don't know what all this means. But I just believe that the Lord has got a plan for us, you know, for every one of us, and that it unfolds for the best. That's what I hope. Just hear me out. I got a hold of a high-speed water drill. It's in Houston. The man told me he's in the headquarters in Kent, Washington. He says, hell yes, you can use it. It's got 35,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. It'll cut through that rock like a hot knife through butter. You're a persistent man, Mr. Jones. Either that or I'm getting real tired. I'm just like anybody else. I just want to help that poor little girl. I called the Air Force. They said I could have the biggest transport they got available. But guess what? Federal Express got an airplane, a 727, sitting in Memphis waiting for me. They're going to fly out to Houston, pick up the drill, and bring it right here to Midland. Now, time is a-wasting. Oh, what the hell? Bring it here. We'll have it for standby. Huh. We can land a 727 in the parking lot at the shopping mall over yonder. Mr. Jones, could you land her at the airport, please? Yes, sir. Much obliged. Now, I made a list here of a few little things we're going to need here. 3,000-gallon water tank, 100 gallons of diesel. Low boy trailer, 15-ton forklift. They said they could have her out in two or three hours. Captain Dole. Yes, sir. Want you to get this stuff here, all of it. Yes, sir. Can do, will do. Who is your drill, Mr. Jones? I'm going home. Be right back. Oh, Miss Henry, I hope your car's not trapped. The news people putting another satellite dish over there. You know, they're beaming this out as far away as Italy and Australia. The biggest news story in the world right now. Let's hope we can give them a happy ending. You know, those guys are sure taking their own sweet time. I'll tell you why, too. They're going the wrong way. They miss that well. They could go to Mexico before they get to that little girl. Mark my word, the wrong way. Let him in. Pull that air down. Out of my way. All right, let it go. A uh, drilling pattern like this. Use the star bit to punch in holes about an inch, an inch and a half apart. I'm beginning to get somewhere here. Five hours since we heard anything. She asleep. Jessica! Jessica! I'm afraid she's asleep. Of course she is. Baby's got a nap, don't they? Oh, man. Jessica! Jessica! Progress. Jessica! 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 It's been... About 46 hours. 
She should be able to go longer without water unless... The dehydration could cause her to slip. She probably is getting smaller. Why can't you go any faster? Why? Why? Why can't they go any faster? You know, they, they just, they hang around, they talk, and Don will tell us just a few more hours this, a few more hours that, while that little baby is down there crying out helpless. Oh, God, maybe, maybe they don't know what they're doing. Maybe what that guy from Houston's saying is true. What Houston guy saying what? That, that guy over there saying y'all drilling the wrong way. Chief, are you going the wrong way? I don't know why they don't come to a What real kind of bull are you telling me? Get his butt out of here. You're causing a problem, let's go. I want to talk to these people. Right, come on, come on. Hey! All right, I'm going, I'm going. Get that gentleman out of town on the first means of conveyance. Circulation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the uh, air quit coming back to you. There's no powder or chip. That's it. That's it. The air and the cut-ins have gone elsewhere, boys. I think we broke through. Bring him up. We broke through. We broke through. in. She's awake. Mr. K has a steel bar through the well. That means no matter what happens, she can't slip any further. And she was just sleeping. They can hear her. She's awake now. They sent three experts from Houston to run it. We don't need it. We're doing just fine. We'll be ready to pull her out of there before they can get that gear in. I have to agree. I'm not sure about that rig. If the high pressure hits a crack, the crack's going the wrong way, that beam of water could race up that crack, slice that little girl. It ain't either. It don't work that way. Look, all I can say is it'll save time, and we gotta save that poor little girl. Look, I wanna tell you, the equipment is there. You lose that little girl. I'm gonna stir up more crap than you or this whole city can cover up. You ever worked underground before? No sweat. I ain't coming up without her. Well, you just widen the hole, friend. We'll send paramedics down to bring her up. Thank you, though. You men get ready. Yes, sir.
up to you now. You'll have to slither in here on your back of you or your belly. Oh, my God. You all right? Yeah. do this. It's like a grave. This is tight. Can you touch her? Just barely. I can't maneuver. Jessica. Jessica, honey. Juicy. They call you Juicy, don't they? Can you hear me, Juicy? Man, how did they do this? It's like I'm smothering. I'm buried alive. Is she making any noise? Can you hear? Yeah, she's whimpering. I can't move. This is awful, man. Get hold of her. Can you get hold of her? Just barely. I can just barely touch one leg. Mm. Go on, move your leg, Juicy. Jessica, move your leg, honey. Her body temperature's okay, though. Oh, my God, Steve. Sounds like she's vomiting. Sounds like she's choking. Move your head to the side, sweetheart. <coughs> Jessica, move your head. Tilt your head, baby. <coughs> oh, God. Please don't let her choke. Not now. <coughs> Can you get her out? Can you even move her? What's going on? I don't know, Steve. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get her out of here, man. I can't move. I need more room. They say go for her. Well, I can't get at her. Robert, try again. I can't get her out. I'm going to rip her apart if I try to pull her out of here. Jessica, honey, I'm going to come back for you, baby. Don't cry. Please don't cry. I'm coming back for you. Oh. 
no way. I don't think we're gonna get her out alive. What is it? We can't get her out, sir. We can't get her out. the other one is positioned, you know. You gotta get me more room down there. I can't all feel. Right, right, right. I can't get her out. Mommy, sorry, baby. I promise I'm gonna get you out of there. Get a new man. Who else have you got? That guy's a wreck and he's a liability. He should have pulled. Doctor, you weren't down in that well. Sure. You gotta give it a shot for that poor little girl's sake. We use it. It's funneling in. The bits can't get a purchase. Keep to the bottom. You think you can handle this? Take me up. You better be able to control this thing or you cut that little girl in half. It's Friday afternoon in Midland, a time when folks usually rush home to get ready for the big high school football games. Today, the city, America, and the world's attention is riveted on the fate of a brave little girl stuck in an abandoned eight-inch water well. People are showing their support by placing pink ribbons around the city. As exhausted workers continued their vigil at the wellhead, Jessica McClure began her 56th hour of entrapment below. Rescuers are using a high-speed water drill to cut through the rock. We're told the device is saving a considerable amount of time compared to tools rescuers have been using. They're saying they've widened it out. I'm sending down a driller to even out the wall. All right, son. People are saying you shouldn't go back down there, saying you're an emotional wreck. I want the truth. Do you have doubts? Are you afraid? The doctor doesn't think you should go. If you don't want to go, nobody will ever know why. I got another try in me, sir. And I couldn't live with myself. I was so close. Robert, my butt's in the sling with you on this. You gonna make it this time. The reporters just told me that something like this happened in California years ago. Radio covered it for days. TV, too. Do I want to know how it turned out? No, sir, I don't believe so. Jessica's been down over 55 hours. This is it. Tell him, Doc. If you have to pull, 
If you have to break her bones, her arms, her legs, don't worry. As long as her neck, back, and head are intact, we can fix the rest. Whatever breaks, breaks. Do you understand? Jerry rigged this from a tripod. The photographer gave it to us. You can extend it like that. He said you needed something to figure what position she's in. Remember, break her bones if you have to, but get her out. Good as it's gonna get. It's our last chance. We're getting real close. So here's what's gonna happen. The paramedics are going back down. Well, I want to be right there when they bring her up. Yeah, I know you do. But I don't want to create a scene out there. We don't know what she's gonna look like, what shape she's gonna be in. I want to get her to the hospital as fast as we can. You're gonna be right there with her. Well, I... He's right, Sissy. Let them do their jobs. Okay. Hang in there, Juicy. We're coming to get you. Don't be scared, baby. I can't wait to see you. Steve, you there? Yeah. I can still only get one arm up. I can feel her leg. It's cold. Oh, clammy. Oh, please, God. Jessica. Jessica! I can't hear her, Steve. I'm jerking her leg. Ha! Oh. oh, thank God. She's still alive. Whew. Seems to be straight up. One leg dangling down. The other leg must be straight up the hole. Oh my God. She must be in a split. They sent down some aesthetic forceps. No, they won't fit. They're useless in here. Give me the petroleum jelly. in here. <laughs> You're pretty right, Juicy. <laughs> they want to know what's taking so long. When I finish smearing the petroleum jelly on the walls, I'm gonna start. Uh, come on. Come on, sweetie. She won't come, Steve. Oh, my God. Oh. 
Oh, God, I think I just pulled her hip out of her socket. Oh, shh, shh, baby. Back in now. Calm down, Jessica. Calm down. Um, they're yelling at me up there. Come on, Robert. Pull her. Just pull her. Well, tell them I just moved her an inch. Maybe that'll shut them up. Charlie. When she comes up, I want some security in case this mob surges in. You understand? You got it. All right, boys, two lines right there to the Let's animal. Go. Come on. I'll let this baby breathe. And I, nobody gets through. Nobody gets through. Line up. Steve? Steve? Tell him to pull. Steve? She's moving, Steve. She's moving. <laughs> she's moving. She's coming. Here she's coming. Here she comes. Okay, baby. It's okay. I got you, honey. It's okay. I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. You're out, Juicy. You're out, Jessica. Come here. I'm sorry. It's okay. Send in the spine board, Steve. Okay. That's it. That's it, sweetheart. That's it. There it is. Here we go. Calm down. Here we go. Calm down. Okay, baby. Hi. Hi, Hi sweetheart. Okay, okay, come on. Okay. Here we go. I got you. I got you. Here we go. It's okay. It's okay. Here you go. Okay, sweetie. All right.
catch the football game? <laughs> Somehow tonight don't seem to matter whether we beat Odessa or not. See you tomorrow. Get some sleep. Still can't believe it. Never a doubt. No, it was a miracle. I bet you we could walk on that water. <laughs> Guess not. Let's go get a beer. Another one. Nope. <laughs> Strike two. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm Rodney Wench with KMID. Could I get your name and, and what you did in the rescue? Well, there weren't any names here, son. Just a lot of good men. 